Hi, in this video you will learn how to create roadmap graphic in PowerPoint. I am Ram Gopal from PrezoTraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for trainers. The animated roadmap graphic you will learn to create today looks like this. First you see a roadmap, then on a click I get the first milestone, then the second, the third and the fourth. A roadmap graphic is a common slide type in most training presentations. If you learn how to create this beautiful and interesting roadmap easily, you would be able to make your training slides more interesting and engaging for your audience. So let us jump right in and learn how to create this beautiful graphic from scratch. Here I am on a new slide. The first thing I am going to do is to draw the roadmap. All I need to do is to go to Home tab in PowerPoint ribbon, go to Auto Shapes menu, under Lines, pick up the Freeform tool. Click on it, then click here, somewhere in the bottom one-fourth of the slide, and the second click happens to be here, so click again, and then click right in the corner of the slide, then click somewhere close to the same distance as this one. So this is where you are going to click. Then come here and almost the same distance from here to here. So you are going to choose something like this. And then click again in the corner of the slide. And then you click at the starting point and there you have a beautiful roadmap created. Now I'm going to go to shape outline, say no outline, go to shape fill and give it a dark gray color. Now that makes the road complete. Now you can always make some adjustments in case you feel that the shape is not proper. You can right click and go to edit points and uh, now you can edit these black points so they are exactly the way that you want. So here we have made the adjustment. Now it is time to make the milestones. So let me go to Auto Shapes menu. Under Basic Shapes, I am going to pick up this tool called as Teardrop Tool. Click, hold the Shift button down while you draw a perfect circular teardrop tool. Then let us right click, go to Size and Position option. Go to Rotation and rotate it by 135 degrees and that makes the pointed tip to point to the bottom edge of the slide. Now let us go to Auto Shapes menu, go to the basic shapes, pick up the oval tool and draw a perfect circle while holding the shift button and place it right in the middle of the teardrop tool, a teardrop shape. Then select the earlier teardrop shape, go to shape outline, no outline, give it a bright orange color. If you need, you can always go to shape effects, go to preset and apply this particular preset called as preset 2. And we don't want the shadow to appear for this preset. So let us go to shape effects, shadow and say no shadow. Then the holding place. This is going to be the text placeholder, the circle. So let us take that one, go to shape outline, say no outline, go to shape fill and say white color. And now we have a beautiful milestone ready. Now I am going to fill this with my own text. So let me pick up the text box tool and say your text here or whatever is the text that you want to write for the milestone. Many times you can write the year here and then you can write your explanation right alongside. It is completely up to you how you want to use this milestone. Let me increase the font size to 20 and then do a little bit of adjustment as far as the size of the text is concerned, text box is concerned. Then I'm going to place it here and I'm going to have it centrally aligned. So I am done here. So let us select everything and make sure that they are properly aligned. So I am going to go to this option called as Align Object Center. You will find the same option in Arrange, Align and say Align Center. So it is the exact same command. Now that it is done, I am going to press Ctrl G which is the shortcut for Group. Then let us go to Shape Effects, Shadow 
and use perspective shadow which is perspective upper right and now this is done now I'm going to place this here and if need be I can slightly increase the size so uh, it does stand out quite nicely and make it slightly to the center and then hold the control button down as I pick and drag this to the next location now that creates a copy of the object that is selected let me repeat the procedure I'm going to hold the control button down as I click and drag this particular shape this particular group to its new location I'm going to do that once more and that's it now I have four milestones if you are not happy with the distance between them you can always make some minor adjustments you can write your title here you can write your explanation here for the milestones it's completely up to you so that is how you create a beautiful roadmap graphic now the last step is to animate the various milestones so I'm going to select the first milestone which is from the left and I'm going to hold the shift button down as I select the second one then third one and then fourth one the order in which I select this is very important because that is exactly the order in which the animation is going to happen so let us go to the animations tab in PowerPoint ribbon then I'm going to add an animation entrance animation called as float in animation the default direction in which the float in happens is from bottom we are going to go to effect options and change that to flat float down option so now it is done then start should happen on click now let us close this go to the slideshow mode on a click my first milestone appears second third and fourth now if you want to speed on all these things up all you need to do is to select all these uh, objects and go here and reduce the duration to say 0.5 and that way the animation happens fairly quickly and this is the pace that I normally recommend I don't want you to have animation duration for one second two seconds etc because that can be quite painful for the audience so keep it at around 0.5 to 0.75 and you'll be good now I'm going to show you some example templates taken from our complete trainers bundle and these are all animated roadmap graphics so first let us go to the slideshow mode and here you see five points along the road on a click I have the first milestone shown then the second third fourth and fifth the beauty of a graphic like this is you can always select the graphic select the milestone and you can make another one very easily and then make the change to the number and so instead of having just five milestones you will have six milestones so it is very flexible let me show you the next example this is another one where it is uh, nicely animated milestones along roadmap first we show the roadmap then the first milestone is shown then on a click the second milestone is shown as you can see the animation here is slightly fancier and if you want to create some kind of uh, marketing related presentation or any presentation where you expect your audience to uh, not pay full attention then this kind of an interesting animation would ensure that they pay you complete attention the next one is also a roadmap with advanced animation on a click I show the first milestone and take a look at how beautifully this particular uh, symbol moves from one to another then the third the fourth the fifth and the sixth and if you require you can have seventh eighth ninth tenth and so on and by the way complete trainers bundle is a collection of 4022 premium PowerPoint templates that help you to create your training presentations in a matter of minutes all the templates in the bundle are created using our proprietary neuro slide design system which uses cutting-edge neuroscience principles to create slides that engage and retain the audience's attention if you want to visualize flows components concepts and metaphors cause and effect number slides and infographics models and frameworks timelines and roadmaps all kinds of slide types are available ready-made for you in complete trainers bundle 
You can find more details about Complete Trainers Bundle by clicking on the button here. I'll also leave a link to Complete Trainers Bundle in the description area below this video. Before we close this video, just one more thing. Do you want to know how to make your training slides creative and interesting even if your topic is dry and boring? Then please click here to sign up for a fun 7-day email course. It's a totally free course and if you're a trainer or a course creator, you will love the content of this email course. I'll see you inside the course.